An investigation found that it was a faulty air mask that caused Eureka Springs firefighter Rod Wasson to breathe in toxic air. Tonight, we get a first look at it and how the fire department says that accident is changing the way they keep firefighters safe. He told us that once he got inside that it felt like he couldn't breathe, that his air pack was not giving him enough air and that he had a suffocating and smothering feeling. That feeling Wasson suffered coming from broken equipment. The mask with smoke burns on the inside, meaning Wasson was breathing in superheated air and smoke. We discovered that the air pack was, had several things it wasn't doing that it should have. Among those, delivering enough oxygen and sealing fumes out. 4029 obtained the mask's last inspection record in April of 2014, which showed a pass on all tests. Flash forward to an inspection after the accident this year, six failures. I don't want them going in a bad enough situation and having to worry that this piece of equipment may get me hurt. Wasson's mask is 12 years old and was inspected once a year. The chief says the department will now inspect them once every six months. Do you feel safe right now sending your firefighters out with the packs that you've got now? I do, but I won't be able to do it without that still that little kernel of fear that something could still go wrong or one of them could still get hurt. Did you have that kernel of fear before this happened? No. The fire chief says he's now working with the city council to buy new air packs to replace the oldest ones they have. Ben Wagner. 4029 News. Great story, Ben. Well, the chief says that Wasson is recovering and doing much better. He hopes to have him back at the fire department soon.